Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. I hope everyone's having a great day today, but if not, hopefully we can change that by the end of this video. For today's video, we are going to be doing a best of elf slash full face of elf, but not just makeup. I'm going to be sharing my absolute favorite skincare and makeup products from elf with you guys. And I've been thinking about this video for a while because I feel like they are one of those brands, which is very, very rare, that does both of those things amazingly well. Typically brands just excel at makeup or skincare. It's really hard to find a brand that does both well, has amazing formulas, performance, ingredients for skincare products, but is also affordable. Like that's kind of unheard of. So that's why I wanted to do a dedicated video on e.l.f. and it worked out perfectly because e.l.f. actually reached out to me and they wanted to partner with me what? I said that so weird. They wanted to work with me and sponsor a portion of this video. So part of this video is in partnership with e.l.f., not the entire video. I know that that may be confusing. Typically how this works on YouTube is there's two different types of sponsorships that you can do. One is where the brand just kind of pays for a portion of the video. The other is if they pay for the entire video. But when they reached out, I was like, well, you guys are in luck because you're going to fit great into this video that I have planned. So I will, of course, let you guys know when we get to the part of the video that is isn't partnership with e.l.f. Spoiler alert, it's to feature a moisturizer from them that many of you guys know I have loved for a very long time. So as you guys know, I am very, very picky about the brands that I work with. I think I've only done one other sponsorship on YouTube ever because I really take it seriously and I want to make sure that I'm only recommending things to you guys that I genuinely love and I'm super excited to share with you. And this is a great fit because I feel all of those things about this product. So if you are curious to hear what some of my all-time favorite products from e.l.f. are, if you want to know how I got this full face of e.l.f. look, you have come to the right spot. We're going to jump into all of that in a second. Before we do, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and drop a comment below letting me know what your favorite e.l.f. product is. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. It really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate you so much. If you need anything from me at all, it's always listed in my description box below including Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, check out my Shopify store. Unfortunately, I can't get it to where you can just see my merch sitting there because I don't use the merch platform or brand that YouTube is partnered with. I kind of went my own route so I could have even better products. So you gotta check out my website to actually see the merch, but it's very cute. And everything else like discount codes, links, timestamps is in my description box as well. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and apply their Hydrating Primer Serum. So this is definitely something that makes for a great makeup primer. It will give your skin a very pretty glow underneath makeup. But even if you're not wearing makeup, if you're just wearing sunscreen, wearing this underneath that and underneath your moisturizer will still make your skin look very glowy and healthy because it has really nice hydrating ingredients. So some of those standout ingredients include glycerin, collagen, which not only hydrates but also moisturizes the skin. This has hyaluronic acid, mushroom extract, vitamin E, and aloe. This is such a nice formula because it's very, very lightweight. It's not sticky. It doesn't pill or anything underneath makeup. And it honestly feels so refreshing. Oh my goodness, I love this formula. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and apply moisturizer next. And I do wanna show you guys all three of the moisturizers that I have from e.l.f. so that you can see how their formulas and ingredients compare, pick out which one's going to work best for you. But the one that I'm going to be applying here on camera is their Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is the portion of the video that is in partnership with e.l.f. and they have a fragrance free version of this face cream which I absolutely love because as many of you guys probably already know I have really sensitive skin so I like to play it safe and steer clear from added fragrances and essential oils and skincare products whenever I'm able to. But that's not all of course this moisturizer has so many amazing ingredients in it and I've said several times before that I feel like this is one of the most impressive moisturizers I've ever found from the drugstore both from an ingredients and formula standpoint so the fact that both of those things are amazing just makes me all that more impressed with this product. So some of the amazing ingredients in this include squalane, that will help to moisturize and soften the skin. This has niacinamide to calm and soothe, help to control oil production. Peptides, which are incredible replenishing and anti-aging ingredients. Hyaluronic acid, panthenol to calm, soothe, and protect. And all of M1000 to replenish. I can't decide if I'm more excited about that or the formula. I, oh, I am in love with this formula. It is so so, so delicious. I've also said this before, but this is just one of those formulas that feels like it should cost 50 more dollars than it actually does. The fact that this is affordable is so confusing to me. 
It's pillowy. I know I say that sometimes and it doesn't really make sense, but it feels like pillows on your skin. It's lightweight, it's cushy, it's soft. Oh, silky smooth. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay. And I love this because for a moisturizing cream, it still is lightweight, but it's occlusive enough to keep me moisturized all day long. So I feel like something like this is just, it's a perfect year round moisturizer, honestly, but also for those of you like myself that have skin that leans oily, something like this is so nice for the winter months and the daytime because it still isn't as heavy as some other moisturizing creams out there, but it just, it does the job. But honestly, I think that this is something that would work for all skin types. If you're incredibly, incredibly dry, you may want something even thicker, but otherwise it's versatile, it's amazing, and I cannot say enough good things about this. So if you feel like you've been on the hunt for an elevated formula from the drugstore, you want something that feels like luxury, but you don't have to spend a luxury amount of money on it, well, there you go. Look no further, I just found it for you. So that is their Holy Hydration Face Cream. Now let's take a look at their other two moisturizers, starting off with their Happy Hydration Cream. So this actually has all of the same exact ingredient highlights as the Holy Hydration Cream. The only difference is that instead of squalane, this one has hemp oil in it, which is a really great oil for the skin really nice and softening, very nourishing, great ingredient. And this I would say is equally as pillowy and luxurious in formula. It's definitely just a little bit thicker. So if you are on the drier side and you feel like the Holy Hydration Face Cream is just not quite thick enough for you, this is an awesome option instead. Or if you want something a little bit thicker for nighttime, if you have skin that leans a little oilier, then this will be the one for you. Oh my goodness, I love, love, love this too. So I honestly, can't choose between the two. I love them both. It just kind of depends on what state my skin is in. If I'm feeling a little bit tighter, if I have some dehydration going on, then I'll typically reach for the happy hydration cream. Otherwise, for every day, I do feel like the holy hydration cream is just a little bit of a better match for my skin type, but totally depends on personal preference. You can't go wrong. And the last moisturizer is definitely the one that is quite a bit different from those other two. This is more of a hydrating gel, if you will, versus a cream. You'll see in a second, but this is called Super Hydrate, and this one doesn't have the same exact ingredient highlights. It does have some of the same in common, but the ingredients that are really impressive in this include glycerin, niacinamide, squalane, centella asiatica, awesome ingredient with anti-inflammatory and wound healing benefits, snow mushroom, and vitamin E. So you guys can see the formula is very unique here. It's not creamy at all. It truly is a gel. It almost has this bounciness to it. It's very lightweight. It feels refreshing on the skin. So this is going to be for those of you that have very oily skin or just don't like a moisturizing cream. You don't want something creamy. You want something very hydrating and jelly. Well, then this is gonna be your girl if you like those things. But I would say same kind of thing goes for the formula. It applies very well, absorbs into the skin very well, works great under makeup like the other two do. It's just a lighter weight version of those. Okay, I went ahead and applied my sunscreen off camera. So we are now ready for makeup and complexion and we're going to be using the fan favorite Camo CC Cream. I actually already have an entire dedicated review up on this product and I do compare it to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So if you haven't seen that video yet, that will be listed below. But this is great because you're not only getting full coverage, you're also getting additional sun protection. So this has broad spectrum SPF 30 and it is a combination sunscreen makeup product. So the active ingredients are octanoxate, titanium di <laughs> Okay, octanoxate, titanium dioxide, and zinc oxide. And I think what impresses me the most about this product is that, like I said, you're getting the makeup and sun protection, but they also added all these other amazing ingredients in it as well, and a lot of which we've already talked about, but I'll quickly list those off. They include niacinamide, panthenol, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and collagen. So you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck here. Again, one of the most impressive complexion products that I have ever seen from the drugstore when we think about the actual finish, performance of the product, but also the ingredients. But before we go ahead and apply that CC cream, I'm actually going to be mixing in a little bit of their nourishing facial oil. I do feel like this CC cream 
I don't want to say is flat on my skin, but is more of kind of like a natural matte finish. And I really want my skin to look extra juicy and glowy today. So I can really achieve that look with some drops of this facial oil mixed in. So if you want to see how this looks on its own with no oil, again, I show you guys that in that review, but let's talk through some of the great ingredients in this oil. This has jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, rosehip oil, avocado oil, and sweet almond oil. And it is fragrance and essential oil free as well, which is great. And this just has such a nice formula for an oil because there's so many oils that I've tried before that feel very greasy and just too heavy for my skin. This is not like that. It's lightweight. It gives you that slip. It gives you the shine, but it doesn't feel gross and greasy, which I just can't do. So I'm going to do a few pumps of the CC cream on the back of my hand. I have the shade light 240 W. Mm, let's do a little bit more. Cause I'm just going to try to do the full face and then I'll do like two drops of this oil. I don't want to do too much cause I'm not trying to look greasy, but, and then I'm just going to, tap that out on the back of my hand. So as you guys can see, it's definitely full coverage. It really evens out the skin tone, but it doesn't feel super heavy. So if you're looking for something that is full coverage from the drugstore, but you don't want it to feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup, then this is a great product because a little bit goes a long way. And I absolutely love the finish with that oil. You can just see there what that does. Obviously we have the help of the hydrating primer serum and the moisturizer as well, but even more so, look at that glow. Oh. So good. Okay, for concealer, we're going to go ahead and use their Hydrating Camo Concealer. This has a satin finish. They have two different camo concealers. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that, but one has more of a natural matte finish. This one is the satiny glowy one, and I love this. It's so, so pretty. Also gives you full coverage, which I definitely need because I just have a lot of veins and discoloration around the eyes. And I do like to brighten as well, but because it has that satiny finish, again, it's not something that looks heavy and makeup-y. Okay, so I just like to pounce that in with a damp sponge. I know that that looks like I applied a lot of product, but I intentionally add more because a lot of it gets soaked up with the sponge. But I just love the application with the sponge. Now for powder, this is one of my absolute favorite makeup products of the moment. I've talked about it in several videos at this point, and I have been using this nonstop. I actually just went on back-to-back -back trips to Chicago and LA, and this was the only powder that I brought with me. It is the e.l.f. Obviously, this is an e.l.f. video. Halo Glow Setting Powder. It is a loose powder. I don't know why I'm showing you that. And the formula is amazing. It feels super, super soft. It's like this diffused powder. Sets makeup in place perfectly, but doesn't look cakey. It doesn't add any additional coverage, so it's not going to look, you know, extra makeup-y on the skin either. And it just has this really pretty subtle glow or luminance to it so that your skin doesn't look extra dry with it like so many other powders do. So I know that initially that definitely makes the skin look more flat and a little bit matte than where we were without the powder, but this is the type of thing that within like 10 to 20 minutes, it doesn't look like this anymore. My natural oils start to come into play and it really just brings it to life. And it looks beautiful all day long. I would say within an hour after application, the glow really sets in for me, but it's not something that makes my skin look shiny. It just, it keeps everything perfect all day. I seriously love this so much. It's so good. Okay, for bronzer, I have two different products that I really, really love from e.l.f., so I want to show you both. So we're actually going to start off with their putty bronzer. I typically don't apply this on top of powder because the feeling kind of freaks me out a little bit. I just completely forgot and had already powdered my face. But in saying that, it actually works on top of powder. So if you prefer to do bronzer after powder, this is one of those rare formulas that somehow works on a powder. Most cream bronzers do not do that for me. They'll pull it, they'll streak it. It's just, it'll break up the makeup underneath, but this doesn't do that for whatever reason. And it of course also works really well on CC cream or foundation or whatever you have for a base without powder. The shade that I have here is called Tan Lines. I would say that this is more of a neutral brown. I do typically lean for warmer toned bronzers, but when I'm really, really pasty, which isn't now because I still have self tan remnants on, something with a neutral undertone like this actually does look more natural on my skin tone, even though I do have skin that leans warm. When I'm that fair, I feel like it just doesn't matter. 
any warm tone bronzer just starts to look a little orangey. I'm just gonna stipple this on the cheeks. This is just such a nice formula because it definitely has a creaminess to it, being a cream bronzer, but it's not slippery, and I think it's something that just builds so well. It looks very pretty and fresh on the skin without looking super shiny. So I don't wanna do too much since I'm also going to be going in with that other powder bronzer, but you guys can see, like how beautiful is that? I love that so much. I feel like the shade is perfect, the finish is perfect. Yeah, it's kind of just like satiny. And the blend, like this is on top of powder. That never happens. I'm actually gonna do the same exact thing with blush where I first show you guys the cream option then the powder option. So in an attempt to not mess this up, I'm going to apply the cream blush first, then we'll do powders. So this is their putty blush. I have the shade Tahiti, which is a really beautiful poppy pink, kind of like a little berry pink, but a little bit brighter. I think that this is so, so pretty and it's the same amazing formula as their putty blush. I love the glow that this gives the cheeks. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit, tap off the excess, and we'll just pop this on the apples and then bring it up a little bit towards the temple. I love this because like the bronzer, it's something that can start off subtle if you would like it to, but if you're into a very, very flushed cheek look, then you can take it there with this because this builds really well. You guys, this is so beautiful. And that is the cream bronzer and blush look. I love it so much. Obviously the blush is a little intense right now. This is the type of thing that for me does fade more quickly than other makeup products that I have. So I'll build it up a little bit brighter at first. It'll fade more naturally and just uh, look beautiful even though I already think it looks beautiful. And again, we put that on top of powder. The blend with that is so good. There's zero streakiness. It's just perfect. All right, now we are ready for powders. I tried to get as much of that off as possible, but obviously there's a little bit there, so we'll just not go in too crazy with the powder. I just realized I forgot to set the concealer underneath my eyes. This is definitely a concealer that I do need to set, but once I do, it's something that doesn't crease up on me. So I'm actually going to use this shade right here in the contour palette. It's like a banana shade, but it's not so, so yellow. I feel like there's a lot of banana shades they're just too yellow. They look like a literal banana under my eyes, and that's not what I want. Like, I want brightening. I like the yellow for discoloration, but you know. Okay, for bronzer, I'm going to pick up this lighter shade right here. This palette is in the shade light medium, by the way. And this is definitely a bronzer that I would consider to be on the warmer tone side, but like in the least orange way possible. Sometimes with this bronzer, if I go in with a little bit too much product, I'll get a little bit of streakiness initially, but it's so easy to just blend out immediately, like just a couple swipes with the brush and it's gone. And for powder blush, we're gonna dip into their powder blush palette. This is in the shade light, and this has four gorgeous shades. So it has this kind of rosy brick color right here, this warm toned brown, it has a very, very light kind of pale, slightly cool toned pink, and then this, mm, what would I call this? Corally pink right here, but it's not too orangey coral, like a rosy coral. You know? So I'm actually going to mix the top two shades right here. I love brown blushes like this on their own, but I do want something a little bit rosier today. So we'll just do a little combo in the sound. I just had so much product caked on my lips. <laughs> okay, for highlight, I'm going to apply their Glow Gleam Beam Palette. This has six different shades in it. It has one glitter, two shimmers, and then three metallic shades at the bottom. So I am going to pick up this metallic shade right here. I really like it because it is a pale gold, but not too greeny gold or bronzy gold. So it's something that works on my skin tone. Yeah, I really like this highlight because I mean, it's obviously there. Like you can tell I have highlight. I'm gonna blend it out a little, but it's not too intense. Like for a metallic shade, it's something that you can make look a little bit more diffused and a little bit more subtle if you would like to. But if you want it to be popping, you can do that too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eye makeup off camera and then we'll jump back on for lipstick and gloss and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, for lipstick, I'm going to apply their Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Taffy. This is a really fun, bright, poppy pink. You can see right there, slightly cool undertone, really, really pretty. I'm not going for a full on opaque, full coverage lipstick moment. So what I'm going to do is just apply this on the bottom. So that would be the shade if I just left as is, which is very pretty. Again, it's just a little bit much for my mood. So I am going to take my finger and swipe away 
some product. So you can see that kind of just tones it down a little bit. We still have a pop of color, but it's not quite as intense. And also that lipstick formula is great too. It's something that yes, is satiny and a little bit creamy, but has enough dryness in it to where it's not going to get messy and bleed on the lips. Last step is going to be to apply lip gloss. This is their Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss. I love a good gloss. And this has a really fun kind of reddish pink shade to it. And it's got some glitters in there. All right, you guys, that is the complete look which means that we have made it to the end of this video I hope that you enjoyed this I know I did I had so much fun pulling it together and I really love whenever I can bring both skincare and makeup all into one video because I love both of those things so much so thank you for watching thank you again to Elf for partnering with me on part of this video it's always much appreciated and let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to pick up any of the products that I showed you in this video if so I will have everything listed in my description box below in order of mention it will be linked for you nice and easy and organized for you guys to find. If there are any other brands that you guys would like me to do a similar style video on in the future, let me know. I would love to do that. Otherwise, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. It really, really helps to support me, so I appreciate you so much. Stay tuned for my next video. That will be up in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days.